welcome back. In WebDriver JS, or just using any version of Selenium WebDriver, the two most basic interactions you're going to have with the web pages you're testing is clicking on stuff and writing and inputs, inputting text. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to finally write in this email box and click on this button and confirm that the alert success appears. So this is very, very easy stuff. The input here that we had, you know what? We can, let's do all this from scratch because repetition is good. Driver find element by CSS. And that was input. Send keys. Ah. Okay. The send keys command does what it says. It sends keystroke key keystrokes to web to the browser within the element that's selected. So you find the element and then once it returns the, the element object as we saw earlier, then you can just tell it what to write. User email dot com. And that's it driver find element by CSS and then this is the BTN large that's the bootstrap class applied to the request invitation button click and that's that's basically it this will click on whatever element that you're targeting so let's Clear this and let's go. No errors, so things should be working just fine. And look at that. It, it actually wrote in and it clicked the button. Cool. Now we got this alert success. Let me do this one more time in a way that you can see without these windows hiding everything. Slow loading app. All right, there you go. So you see that we typed the email in here, this button became enabled, and then it was clicked. And then we got this here. Uh, the alert success. So now we can actually tell WebDriver to look for that. And we're going to extract the text from it. So driver find element by CSS. Why do I keep doing this? And this was alert success. That was the bootstrap class for that alert. Uh, and here, since there are no interactions to be had with it, we can just get the text and pass the text through here and we'll log it. Console log. Alert success text is txt all right so same thing should happen we'll write the email we're going to click request invitation and then we're going to find the alert success and confirm that it appeared by extracting the text from it okay so this is saved Forgot to camel case something. Forgot to camel case this. Sorry, guys. So, no errors, this works. But something funny will happen, I believe. Boom, we get an error as expected. 
So the error was find element is not a function. Um, what? No, that was the initial error. Okay, here, no such element error. No, unable to locate element, selector alert success. But why? It, it appeared here. The thing is that as soon as, as WebDriver is done with a command, it immediately moves on to the next one. It will not wait for, um, for things to appear. So this actually, let's try this. Um, let's try this again. Let me refresh. Okay, user at email.com, right? And check this out, click, boom. It took like a second before this thing appeared, maybe a little less. And that was way too much time for WebDriver. So in the next video, what we're gonna do is we're going to begin talking about weights. And that's a very important and crucial topic in WebDriver. And that's waiting for elements to appear before trying to interact with them because if you don't then you'll always get errors like this and your test will constantly fail for no reason that's called a brittle test so this was a short video all we learned here is how to write in, 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 a, in an input element and how to click now um, let me do, let me do one more demonstration here and that's that's this because I just want to show when you cannot click on an element. You can pretty much click on on any element here, but let me see what happens. Let's see what happens if we click on this button while it's disabled. So a okay, let's I know I know basically this input here, if you just type user email.com, it won't work because it's uh, it wants the email to be formatted properly, so you need the, the at symbol. Okay, so let's quit. Let's type this here. Clear. Let's go. This was actually not what I meant to do because I forgot to take away this okay now now we can go and try this out okay so you can actually click on disabled elements. It, it, it's not waiting for elements to be enabled. So you just basically have to confirm that that things work by looking for the expected, you know, the expected uh, result of an action. So for example, the expected result of clicking this is for the alert success to appear, right? Um, there are other ways of confirming this, and I will get into it after we look at this alert success situation a little more, but um, and that's that's actually going to have to do with weights because we're going to talk about implicit weights and explicit weights. The next video will be about implicit weighting, and it will be pretty short and sweet. So see you in the next video.